got me some food or whatever but I just put up to my mama crib but I don't know why but like this how you know like this straight off the muscle cuz like I put my camera out and just start videoing or whatever but once you I don't know about y'all but I didn't lost like family members and stuff around Christmas time and everything so it's crazy how like one person passing or somebody passing can change like the whole dynamic of how like a holiday go or just being around family go it ain't necessarily that I'm sad or nothing like that because I felt all those emotions back then and dealt with them but it's like it do change like the whole narrative of like how holidays are supposed to be spent or like for me for my example like at my grandma crib we used to all go um cousins aunties uncles all that like everybody from it anywhere like out of state different things like that we used to all go to my grandma crib um around this time of the year and that used to be like when everybody really like kind of came together and different things like that and that was like when like family actually like felt like family for real i understand like everybody families go through different things or whatever but it's like bro since my grandpa passed uh and maybe some of y'all can relate to somebody that was like the foundation of like the family or whatever when they gone it's like that junk don't even feel the same no more like, i recognize like that side of my family nobody like we really haven't really came together for real like that since 2016 and it's 2023 now it's 20 be it's gonna be 2024 so it's like i understand when people be like how they don't be in the mood for certain things or not even saying everybody celebrate Christmas or nothing like that or certain holidays because I ain't too big on it either. I ain't grow up really asking for stuff. I ain't grow up um, asking what I wanted or getting asked what I wanted and different things like that. You feel me? So it ain't it ain't even about none of that type of stuff. But it's just like the fact that you being around family or people that you grew up with or people that you close with and y'all like low-key drift apart it's crazy how like that can happen off like one person kind of like leaving earth type of thing especially like if you get on your own you start to recognize like how times have changed like back then like family used to be like bonding family used to be people everybody from whatever state they stayed in like coming down to meet up at your grandma crib all the cousins staying the night at your mama crib or your grandma crib or something like that like you can get so caught up in life that you don't even too much reach out to the people that you grew up with the people that 
was closest to you at one point in time and it's like bro that doesn't matter we get caught up in oh i want to do this with my life or oh, i want to be this in my life or dang i need to work on this goal or i need to focus on this type of thing and all of that get washed away um when you die don't none of that matter the way stuff that people gonna remember i like the memories people gonna remember like how you made them feel people gonna remember how you treated them and stuff like that so it's like you really start to feel all them emotions or you start to like really sit back well, let me just say i started to really like feel them type of emotions or start to really sit back and like really look at myself and be like bro when the last time you reached out to your grandma when the last time you went and seen your grandma when the last time you went and hit up some of your cousins that you grew up with um why haven't we try to establish more relationship like back then i understand like when you grow up life change like you you accumulate more responsibilities and different things like that but it's like just a little simple text or a little facetime call none of that like any of that type of stuff it's like we let all that go on the wayside and don't even too much like try to continue building relationships or bonding or upholding that foundation that was like once had as a family type of thing and like just from my example like right now my whole family and i don't feel like we don't feel no type of way about it but it's like when you grow up you start to make your own family and create your own family so of course everybody gonna be kind of spread it out everybody gonna have a different spouses different boyfriend girlfriends different things like that but it's like some of the people that have built that foundation um it's like we forget about them like whether it be your mom or whether it be your grandparents or something like that and a lot of times like we probably make them feel like lonely in a way because it's like we and i'm not even like i don't know why i keep saying we but i'm just saying for myself it's like i can get so busy with life and care about how everything else going and not even like check in with my people for real it's because i'm such a private person but it's like it's unhealthy when i'm not tapping in with my people it's unhealthy when i'm not checking and asking the people that was closest to me at one point it's unhealthy if i'm not tapping in and seeing how people doing seeing how people mentally is and different things like that because you really never know what somebody going through you really never know how somebody feel like if anybody is like me i hold all my stuff in for a lot of times um until i'm ready to talk about it you can get so deep in your thoughts um and don't even be trying to but it's because you like me i like to assess every situation or every emotion that i'm feeling so i like to sit and isolate myself a lot of times but i don't think i think about how dangerous the isolation can get if i exceed it too much or dive down into it too much you feel me it's like you really start to feel those that depression or that feeling like you ain't really got nobody to go to for real i feel like the biggest thing that like always get me out of that is like going back around my family like one point in time where i was going through something like mentally and i was deep off like in my thoughts and in my emotions and kind of like just feeling everything but it was like bro every time i came back to my mama crib i don't know what it was but it was just like this peace it was like yeah, I'm feeling everything out here in the world and everything, but when I, as soon as I was stuck within my mama crib, all that weight was like taken off my shoulder. And that didn't even have to be here, but I think it was just like the presence of just like home or the presence of like family or whatever. And it's crazy because it's like, I literally like would just come and really get off work or get back to my crib and be feeling like in that emotion. And I just come to my mama crib and I wouldn't tell nobody about it. I just come to my mom's crib just to come because I was like needing that energy. So I'm at a point where it's like I'm trying to work on myself as far as like not not tapping in with people, checking on people. Like sometimes you got to take initiative and everything, and I do feel like it should be reciprocated. But it's like, bro, you just never know what somebody going through and what one conversation or one check in can do for somebody. Does everybody go through something? If I'm big on perspective. So it's like any situation can go down, but it's like you can find the good out of any situation. You really attempt to change your perspective on it. So it's like one thing can go this way, but it's like, damn, it could have went worse like this. Or a lot of times, like, you got to take the aisle for you. Drive around. I promise you, you can drive around and see people that's homeless and different things in your city. Like, I remember I was walking one day and 
not to talk about like stuff that I've done for somebody, but it's just like me bringing it to light. It's just for examples, walking at the park and whole time I'm like going through certain issues with um, my vehicle and different things like that. So it's like I'm kind of stressing about it or y'all yeah, know how like stress try to kind of creep up on you and different things. I'm straight on this side of my head, but whole time it's like on this side it's like, ah, like it's that resistance, like trying to be like, nah, bro, this ain't going right. You need to focus on this because it's not going right. I was walking that morning and I seen these two homeless people and I just felt it on my heart to check on them, you feel me? Tap in with them, see how they was doing, see what if they needed something. And at first that was good. You know how people always going, as soon as you ask them for something, a lot of times people not going to speak up and ask for what they need. And a lot of times we don't speak up and ask for what we need because we don't want to be a burden on somebody else. But a lot of times, sometimes people sit in your life to handle and take care of that burden for you. Sometimes people sit in your life to get that weight off of you, to help you heal, to assist you heal. And a Sometimes all you need is that person to, you feel me, lower you down like they did with the dude on the mat and the barber, you feel me? Sometimes you just need those people in your circle that's going to get you where you need to be and allow you to do the rest. Sometimes you need that extra push. Sometimes you need that person to pick you up sometimes, speak life into you and everything like that. And when you find them type of people, make sure you really tap in on them too because Sometimes they be giving from a place that they don't really have to give. And I say that because I know that's what I do for a lot of people. I come through for a lot of people. I'm always having conversations. I'm a barber, so I'm talking to a lot of people. And a lot of people can unpack a lot of stuff on me. So it's like I'm not only feeling my emotions, but I'm also feeling the emotions of the other people that's around me. I asked them what they um if they needed anything. And once I like started getting more detailed, that's when like they started being like yeah I need this yeah I need that so speak in detail in what you need and what it is that you need help in and a lot of times that'll get you to a place to where you can kind of pinpoint what you need or pinpoint how you need to go about a certain thing so basically I went and went to the store and got food got water got Gatorade different things like that and at first it was like bro I wasn't gonna do a whole lot I was gonna do just enough like my thought process like flipped my perspective changed it was like these people they live kind of like this to where they in a way have to rely on somebody else sometimes so it's like let me go all out let me give a hundred percent and give it not to look good not to um necessarily even feel good about myself or not knowing that it would make me feel good um or feel better about myself but it was like me giving a hundred percent to give to somebody else took the eyes off of me it took and changed my perspective to a positive thing to where it's like, bro, somebody else in the world got a whole nother situation going. So mine ain't, yeah, I might be feeling it and going through what I'm going through and I'm not negating my feelings or nobody else's, but it's like, it could be a hundred times worse. It could be a thousand times worse, you feel me? When holidays come, when you used to being around family, and sometimes you just feel like you're lonely or whatever it is. For one, get around the people that you know that try to pour into you don't just focus on yourself and your loneliness a lot of times they probably feeling the same thing and i know at this time of year we letting stuff go um a lot of people trying to add new things to their life a lot of people trying to add new routines and letting certain people go out of their life and it's cool to let it go but it's the things that we don't let go or the things that we didn't want to let go that really kind of make us feel some type of way for real and a lot of times it's unexpected a lot of times you can't control how life is or what decisions people make you can't control how people treat you you can't control how long they're gonna be around so it's like appreciate the people that really add to you and help you grow and be a better person and let them know that right now like tap in with them let them know that try to work on building those relationships it don't mean y'all gotta kick it all the time but like i said just having a certain conversation can sometimes like be the foundation being built even if it's somebody like you fill out with um a lot of times like you'll fall out with somebody and recognize later on in life you just wasn't mature or like you had to grow in a certain area or same thing for them vice versa and it was like y'all fill out and don't even remember why y'all fell out i mean i gotta stay like that that don't mean i gotta have too much pride to apologize whether it be family anything like that i'm saying this because it's like bro you just never know should you continue to not get so caught up in that loneliness feeling. Give back to somebody else. Whether it's time, whether it's 
something monetary wise a material type of thing like you giving somebody else to take the eyes off of how you feel sometimes it's not to negate how you feel but it's like just don't let yourself get so caught up in that deep depression or that deep loneliness feeling that you feel and pray against it you feel me go to god about it praise and worship is what i'm learning is my getaway that like that's my place to go to getting that place to where you whether it's you sing whether it's you pray whatever it is getting that place to where you really spend time with god and work on that and you'll feel that emotion like that depression or that feeling of loneliness or feeling like you doing everything alone and a lot of times like when you feel like you're doing everything alone you feel exhausted it's draining and it feel like it take away your energy all the time so it's like when you do try to give back to other people you don't even feel like you can fully give to yourself um so it's harder for you to give back to other people that's when you gotta like work on yourself that's when you got to tap into learning how to love yourself, learning how to get away. Take time to yourself and do positive things. You got to like start finding things that you enjoy to do. Find things that take your mind off of work. Find things that take your mind off of life and stick to it. And you may not find it right away, but eventually you'll find it. Like I said, though, this is how y'all know this off the muscle. Like I'm in my truck and I got a phone light on. Loving yourself, loving the people around you while you got them.